Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how exactly you can get this gigantic velocity boost off of a sliding door. This mechanic is called Snuggle Bouncing. The reason we use the word Snuggle is because of this guy, Snuggle Pug. Basically in Titanfall 2, he discovered a speedrun strat. If you're not familiar, Titanfall 2 has speedruns. But anyways, he found the speedrun strat where you use this floor here to get increased velocity. And so the Titanfall 2 community names the mechanic after him. And now it exists in Apex. So we use the same word, snuggle. Anyways, let's get into the actual guide. In order to snuggle bounce, you're first going to need to learn how to wall bounce in a specific direction. The easy way and the controller friendly way is to simply hold a side input. So if I want to wall bounce to the right, I'm going to hold my D key or hold your movement analog stick to the right. And likewise, to wall bounce to the left, you would hold your movement analog stick to the left. So really quick, here's what it looks like. Just keep in mind that on an analog stick that has 360 degrees of motion, if you hold a forward input whatsoever on accident, you could kill your wall bounce potentially. So basically on controller, you're aiming to hold your analog stick perfectly 90 degrees to the right or left. Uh, you could probably get away with weird angles like 91 degrees, etc. But if you have too much of a forward input on your analog stick, you will fail the wall bounce. If you struggle with this, then the Gaming Merchant has a really good guide on wall running, which is essentially what this is. Now we're going to be adding this to the door. So what you want to pay attention to is the direction that the door is moving. So I know both doors are moving right now when I open and close it, but we're only going to be looking at one of the doors. So it's very simple. If the door is moving to the right, you're going to wall bounce to the right. And if the door is moving to the left, you're going to wall bounce to the left. So basic physics, two forces in one direction, those being door force and wall bounce force, give you double force. If you try to break these rules and say wall bounce to the right when the door is moving to the left, you'll have your two forces in opposing directions and your wall bounce will actually go half the distance that a regular wall bounce would normally go. And just to illustrate this, here's a regular wall bounce and here's a wall bounce where I fight the door's velocity and go the wrong way. So that's the basics. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can combine this with tap strafing. So when combining this with tap strafing, what you're going to want to do is wall bounce in the opposite direction of the door. So if the door is moving to the right, you're going to wall bounce to the left. Now normally this would kill your velocity, but what we're going to do is add a 180 tap strafe. And what this will do is make it so that the door and your wall bounce are ultimately moving in the same direction. So now let me show you some variations. Alright, so for this jump, we're going to be jumping off the right door while closing it. Right here in this frame with the arrows, this is the perfect velocity that you can keep. But if you adjust the tap strafe slightly so that it points forwards more, you'll get a slightly weaker snuggle bounce, but you'll be able to go directly forward in the room. A few more meters and we'll be inside the room. So basically in this clip, I only slightly matched the door's velocity. The door is moving to the left, but I tap strafe diagonally. Now if I tap strafe straight to the left, I would sustain a lot more velocity, but in the process, I'll probably end up hitting the wall. So that's why I did not do that. Here's some other tap strafe variations. So now we're going to go over some niche tips really quick. So if you block a doorway with a caustic trap and then close it, the velocity still acts upon both doors, meaning you can perform a snuggle bounce. Also, if you stand between both doors when it's like this and perform a wall bounce, you will get sent back and forth over and over again. So say you want to push someone that's like in front of you here. You have a couple of options. So if you're on M and K, of course, you can tap strafe off the door. But if you're on controller, you can't tap strafe. So there's a much easier way to do this. And that's to simply close the door on you and then use the stored momentum on the door to wall bounce towards the enemy. This method gives you decent cover and it doesn't require any tap strafing whatsoever. Another interesting thing you can do with snuggle attack is get insane speeds out of a super glide. In order to do this, first you need to find an object that is really close to the door at hand. Then all you want to do is snuggle bounce towards that wall. 
and perform a super glide. Just note that the super glide has to go in the same direction that the door is moving. So here's a regular super glide. And then here's the snuggle glide. The reason that this works is because the door continues to boost your momentum until you touch the ground. So if you land in a mantle instead of on the ground, the game doesn't consider you to be grounded, so you can keep all the velocity from the door and add it to any jump you do out of this mantle state. So this includes super gliding and mantle jumping if there's a zipline nearby. You can practice these jumps on the movement map that I created. This works in actual Apex, but there's not a lot of places around the map where this naturally occurs. Also, this jump should be theoretically possible, but after like five attempts of me falling off the map, I just gave up. But if you just tap strafed a little bit to the left instead of where I tap strafed, you should be able to easily make this. Another niche thing that's really, really hard to do is combining Revenant's multiple wall runs with Snuggle Tat. So all this knowledge can be applied to the gondolas on World's Edge. There's a lot of different ways to implement it, but the general rule is you want to always move in the same direction as the gondola. So for instance right here, I'm going to super jump in the same direction the gondola is moving to get an insane boost in speed. And likewise, you can do the same with the super glide. So yeah, pretty much any movement tech that involves a jump input is going to work just fine here. I'm sure there's a lot of insane rotations you can do here, but currently I've been focusing more on doors than gondolas. Also, I forgot to mention this, but the firing range is actually a pretty good place to practice snuggle tech. You can change the target speed of these targets through the firing range menu, and then you can try either wall bouncing or super gliding off the target. If you want to learn more about how your momentum interacts with moving objects in the game, then I'd recommend checking out his week's video on moving platforms. He mostly focuses on Titanfall movement, though he does briefly explain how it works in Apex as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the video. I'm releasing a mantle jump map sometime soon. It's very poggers. There's a hard version and an easy version of the map. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here and just show you a couple more clips where I use snuggle bouncing. Stop